Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to July 2022's old money assignment mid-month check-in. I know we are definitely at the end of August. Thank you for your patience with the update on this. Now let's jump straight into the old money assignments that I left for you in the last video. So the first one was to take charge of our health. And specifically, I was sharing how I had started taking bar fitness classes. Now, I have to be honest with you, I haven't taken very many bar fitness classes. However, I did go to a personal training session every single week besides one week. <laughs> <laughs> since I last left you. Now, I didn't end up doing as many bar lessons when I was in my personal training session with Georgie, but there would be maybe one movement or two that was incorporating the ballet bar. So she did take me through quite a few different movements, a lot of it being body weight exercises, but not necessarily just at the ballet bar. That's not necessarily what I thought these personal training sessions would look like. And I did attend one class, <laughs> but also since we last met here, I got COVID. And so that was when I had my week off with her and just kind of needed to give my body that time. Now I can report to you that I'm definitely feeling a lot stronger, but one thing I'm very happy for is the fact that I am implementing and introducing these habits to my lifestyle one at a time. Because where I think I've failed myself before in the past is I introduced too many things at the same time and then none of them stuck. So where I'm two months into going to this weekly personal training session and trying to get active when I'm at home, I feel like this is now becoming a habit that is going to stick and something that is going to help me in the long term. I just got a glimpse of my tongue. <laughs> not elegant i have to tell you i've been dealing with a crazy amount of nausea and sucking on a sweet or a candy is the only thing that's calming it so that explains the blue tongue <laughs> i feel so caught out <laughs> anyhow so yes it is great to see that i am being able to make this a part of my lifestyle and i feel like i'm now at the point where i can consider introducing maybe a second day to my workout regime and maybe going into the bar studio and having someone to push me for a second day a week at the studio. Now, the next thing that I will say is that I am definitely feeling my body get stronger. I threw my back out last year. I have arthritis in my lower back and I lost all of my core strength. And so it was a little bit humbling to start training with Georgie and see how weak I am. But now that I'm starting to regain that strength, I'm starting to see small changes in my body. It's giving me the positive reinforcement that I, I like to give me that motivation to keep going. So let's talk about the next thing that was on the old money assignment and that was talking and learning all about fibroids. It was great to connect with so many of you in the comments who didn't know about fibroids at all. I feel like most of the people in my surroundings know about fibroids or are dealing with fibroids themselves. And I'm not going to share any photos or testimonials here. However, I will encourage you to go over to Instagram or go over to TikTok and look up the hashtag fibroid awareness month and you will learn so much. There was a very informative video that I watched. It was a reel, but I don't want to share it here because it is a little bit graphic, but it is outstanding to see how people were functioning with these huge tumors in their uterus. And I obviously am personally touched by that if you saw the first video in this old money assignment, but I definitely think that as we grow more awareness for the topic, hopefully some solutions will be found or at least ways to ease the discomfort of dealing with fibroids. Now, as I mentioned, I will be donating the proceeds, the ad revenue that I gained on my old money assignment video to the British Fibroid Trust, I believe it's called. Now, the next thing that we were to do on our old money assignment was listen to that piece from Beethoven. Now, I personally played this over the last two months when I was cleaning, maybe when I was working. Most of the time, truly, 
was when I was working because I've noticed if I'm listening to music with lyrics, I find it a lot harder to concentrate. And so this was the perfect, perfect accompaniment to lighting a candle, having a pot of tea and working away. So do let me know if you listened to this piece over this last two months. Now, I did tell you that I was going to read this book, Stock Market 101. <laughs> And I said, if I share it here, I know I will hold myself accountable to reading it. And I did read some of it, but I have to tell you, I just cannot get into it. But the bits that I did get into, I have learned a ton. Now I thought, be it that I didn't read the book, what I can tell you I have implemented was two things. With the limited knowledge that I have about stocks thus far, <laughs> I did get this app called Plum and have started investing through there. It's very elementary. And so I know that I'm not going to make millions with it, but I'm getting the real world experience and the real world practice with it. The next thing that I have to tell you is I did find a product in a company that I wanted to invest in. And my husband and I were both ready to pay the money to invest in it. And then we couldn't find the UK on, you have to fill out your details. And I couldn't find the UK in this drop down menu. And finally we found in the small, we found in the small print that they don't, investors couldn't be from Canada or the UK. And so that was such a shame because we really, really wanted to invest in this particular company. However, oddly enough, this company's biggest competitor reached out to me to work with me on an influencer capacity. And so sometimes you think maybe everything happens for a reason because what are the chances that at that exact moment when I was ready to invest, their biggest competitor reached out to me. I'll keep you informed with my investing journey, but I have to be honest, I did not finish the book. I didn't even get halfway through it. I can't lie. Now, last but not least, we were going to look into Old Money Exemplar Jackie Onassis and I learned a lot. I knew a few tidbits about her that I shared in the last video but that was more so through me reading online. I watched a few free documentaries on YouTube. I'll have them linked in the description box and wow I learned a lot. I think to sum it up you can see that Jackie O was a woman on a level up journey even though she came from a family that had money but if you know anything about her you know that even though her her father was wealthy and I believe he was a stockbroker he squandered their money and so her and her sister had to be mindful about who they married and also had to keep on improving themselves now what I didn't know which I don't know is the most if, if it's the most elegant is it did seem to be that there was quite a rivalry between Jackie and her sister and it's interesting to see how marketing and branding and status essentially can over shadow one sister more than the other because if you do look into Jackie O's story her sister was actually the one who had the better style. Her sister was the one that I believe was voted the most attractive, but through a few strategic plays from Jackie, she ended up overshadowing her sister, even though her sister should have been the person that came out on top. I also found it very interesting. I did not realize that her sister had a relationship with Aristotle Onassis in which Jackie ended up marrying later on in life. And so I share this because I love talking with you all about old money, but I think we obviously have to take everything that we're learning with a grain of salt. And maybe we like one set of attributes from one person and maybe we don't like these ones and therefore we put them to the side. And so I leave you with that. I will be bringing back the old money assignment for September, 2022. I will be back to creating regular videos here on this channel and I hope you're excited for it. I know there's quite a few, <laughs> there's quite a lot new of new faces around here so if you've made it to the end of this video thank you for being here and i'm excited to get to know you all a bit better thank you for watching see you in the next video